Hi guys, good morning. We're back again. We're gonna do a short video on some banister rails that we uh, custom designed for a doctor who's an avid fisherman. So he was very strict with us on the type of fish, the structure of the fish, and the layout of everything because he wanted everything to be natural and how it looked underwater. These are going, these two pieces are going to be installed into his master bedroom and they're all going to be illuminated with LED lights. So let me start, let's start by looking at the drawings that uh, Christopher had designed and um, if you would follow me to the desk we can take a look at the drawings that were approved by the customer. Okay, so we're now in the design process. Christopher is working on the layouts for the customer. These are the designs that were approved. These are set up as small scale, in scale, for a client to see and approve our game plan on uh, what we're doing as far as the design. We have the water line, we've got all the fish. There's a lot of them packed into this, but he wanted a lot of fish to, uh, to you know, to enjoy this panel with, with all the creative etching that's on it. So we've got the corals, the fishes, the turtle, the marlin, and then from this point, once we uh, agree on a small scale rendering, then we go to the full scale. And the full scale is uh, done uh, all by hand. Everything we do is by hand. This is the full scale rendering that gets transferred over to the glass. And when doing a full scale rendering and transferring as this process is, we have to be able to do it in reverse or in the right way so that when it goes to the glass, all the fish are facing the correct direction that they need to. And this, again, is all hand done, drawing. And then from this point, we would take it to the glass. We prep the glass with a sandblast resist rubber. This drawing gets transferred right to it. And at that point, we can start cutting it with an exacto knife and do the puzzle pieces that we need to weed out for sand carving. Uh, from the large scale art approval, at that point, we're ready to go to the glass. The glass is ordered to size, usually, and uh, when it arrives here, we cover the glass with this matte sandblast rubber. And if you come over here and take a peek, so what this is, is this is a, a thin or thick, depending on how you think of it, a sticky tape that we're able to transfer our artwork design to. And then once the design is transferred, the entire design is cut out with an exacto knife. Every line that you see that is pencil is hand cut to perfection, creating what is a giant puzzle. And then when we are ready in the sandblasting process to start pulling pieces out to sandblast one step at a time, we will carefully pull and weed out that area exposing the glass we want sandblast to hit first, second, third, fourth, fifth, in some cases <laughs> almost to a thousand because wow. if you look at this there's probably close to a thousand pieces of cut stencil on this panel alone. So anyway, what we're seeing right here is a very important part of the process of this creative glass. This is where Richard is in the sandblasting booth, sand carving all of our windows and uh, client's design work. This is where, through equipment, which is sandblast equipment, compressor equipment, and the other stuff, we are able to finish our creative etchings through the sandblasting process. Yeah. What we use is a very fine powdery abrasive called aluminum oxide. This is what cuts into the glass with the pressurized air. We fill two different hoppers. It's either a siphon feed or a pressure feed sandblaster. Through that sandblaster and through the hose and through the nozzles from thick to thin, we're able to control the sand to do whatever we want. And when the sand comes out of the gun and hits the glass, it starts to eat away and erode the glass, allowing us to sand carve in, into the pieces. We use this sand and this process kind of like a glorified airbrush. We can turn up the pressure and carve and cut into the glass, or we can back off the pressure 
to do light shading and tone work. We combine both for maximum effect in these pieces. These are the guys installing the panels. I wasn't recording earlier. This is our view from the master bedroom of Tampa Bay. That's where we brought this glass up. finished. We're getting, up, we're getting a lot of refracted light through the front window. This is the best I can do with what we have. So this is side one. This is the master bedroom side. The other side is over in the sitting area. And this is the banister. Hope you enjoyed our recent video and you got to see from the art process, the entire process of, of sequences that we go through to get to the finished product. Um, the video of the installation, the beautiful view from the bedroom of that home over in St. Petersburg. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video and the quality of the finished product. Um, we were very, very proud of it and the customers were extremely happy. So until we see each other again in our next video, continue following us, continue liking us and have a great month, everyone. Thank you from the Glass Menagerie.